Have you tracked down your twin flame? Just to be left with confusion and questions. Twin flame relationships are not a simple ride they're frustrating and, surprisingly, painful now and again. Because they're designed to compel you to develop, be tested, and recuperate. Yet, while you're going through this out of control thrill ride of emotions, you're presumably wondering if your twin flame is experiencing them as well. From the great to the awful, it can be difficult to figure out how they're feeling, and if they're experiencing equivalent to you on your twin flame venture. In any case, to more readily comprehend how your twin flame is linked to you emotionally and spiritually, we first need to comprehend how the silver rope that you share works. All in all, what is the silver line of connection? You might have run over the silver line, especially if you've been trying to look into your twin flame connection. So what is it and how can it assume a part in explaining how your twin feels what you feel? Set forth plainly, the silver rope is an energetic construction that interfaces our physical selves to our spiritual selves. To imagine what it seems to be, Picture a line of light that is utilized to move energy among you and your higher self. In any case, when you have a twin flame, your silver line, which originates from your heart chakra, goes through the spiritual domain, where it interfaces with the heart chakra of your twin flame. It seems like a great deal to take in. Yet the important thing to know is that this energetic connection binds you both spiritually and it opens an entryway for energy to be moved and shared. All in all, what does that mean for you? Indeed, it's the basis of why your twin flame does feel what you feel. It's the link that interfaces you and makes your relationship into a total union. So when you experience things like intense emotions or vivid dreams about your twin flame, you're in good company. Your twin flame does feel what you feel. In any case, your twin flame might not experience everything you feel simultaneously as you, even though it can work out. But they will go through similar emotions at some point in their excursion. Yet, if you're still wondering how to find out whether your twin feels equivalent to you, read on for the most well-known signs to pay special attention to. 10 Signs Your Twin Flame Feels What You Feel 1. They run. You're presumably thinking, for what reason do they run if they feel similar amazing feelings I do? Yet, it's this precise motivation behind why your twin flame leaves. They feel the intensity of your shared emotions you're the two pieces of a similar soul. So it's normal for them to take on similar feelings as you. However, now and again, this can be overwhelming and your twin flame will do everything possible to drive you away, even to the point where they ignore you. Even though it's ruthless and painful to be abandoned by your twin flame, you can accept it as a definite sign that they feel the same way as you. The downside, they're not prepared to manage their emotions or face the progressions they need to make within themselves, so you might or might not, need to wait a while for them to return. 2. They mirror what you're feeling. Similarly, as your twin flame can't resist the urge to run when they're frightened of these intense emotions and changes, they likewise will not have the option to control mirroring your feelings or behavior. Regardless of whether they're not mindful of it, your twin flame goes about as a reflection of you. If you feel insecure, your twin flame will display this back to you. Regardless of whether it harms you, it's intended to make you awaken and manage your blemishes. So how might a twin have the option to mirror you? if they didn't know how you genuinely felt inside. Twin flames can pick up on one another's innermost blemishes and feelings, paying little mind to how long they've spent together. So when your twin mirrors you for a long-term benefit or the terrible, know that it's because they know you and feel what you feel, regardless of whether you've never verbally discussed it. 3. A genuine psychic confirms your twin flame feels what you feel. The signs in this article will give you an insight into your twin flame's feelings. All things considered, issues connected with twin flames and feeling similar emotions, 
can be confusing in ideal circumstances, especially as your situation is unique to you. So could getting some outside guidance help? After a truly challenging period in my twin flame venture, I observed that speaking to an advisor from Psychic Source was useful. The advisor I addressed was kind, understanding, and genuinely supportive. My adoration reading gave me the guidance I was looking for, and required, during a painful and confusing time. Besides the fact that a gifted advisor tell can you whether your partner feels what you feel, however, they can likewise uncover different details about your shared connection. 4. Silence. Furthermore, that brings us to our next point your twin flame feels what you feel, without needing a conversation about it. Interestingly, silence is often met with a surprising reaction the vast majority expect to be that if they're not communicating with you, it's because there's a disconnect, be that as it may. With twin flame relationships, silence says a ton. The point when your twin flame is quiet, it's not because they would rather not converse with you, it's because they understand what you're thinking or feeling. It's insane, right? That somebody can realize you so well that they don't have to converse with grasp you. Whenever your twin accomplice is silent, don't rush to make the judgment call that they're exhausted or preoccupied. It could simply be that they understand what you're thinking, and they don't feel the need to chit visit. 5. You experience clairvoyance. Also, if picking up on your feelings without words isn't sufficient, you and your twin flame might try and experience clairvoyance together. There's more possibility of experiencing clairvoyance with your twin soul than with some other kind of connection. Furthermore, it seems okay. Your spirit is one, even though you each experience your own emotions and respond differently to outer stimuli. With regards to feeling similar about one another there's no hesitation. Thus, if you have a snapshot of clairvoyance where you pick up on how your twin flame feels, you can be confident that they presumably experience it as well, regardless of whether they never discuss it. 6. Unconditional love. Unconditional love is a massive piece of finding and connecting with your twin flame, it's what separates you from perfect partners and different sorts of connections. What's more, it's the ultimate objective for twin flames, which is likely why you can't quit thinking about them. All the difficult work, the development, the separations, it all prompts finding a higher degree of adoration unconditional love. At the point when you and your twin flame arrive at this level, it won't make any difference the amount you're separated. You both know that your affection for one another rises above physical distance. So how would you be if your twin flame partakes in your unconditional love? All things considered, the enlightens will be there in how they treat you. Your twin flame, regardless of whether you spend periods separated, will continuously return. They won't burn through your time or drag you down instead. They'll give their best to raise you and assist you with being all that can be expected. This is because unconditional love comes without limits, expectations, or conditions. What's more, if your twin flame is on this excursion of soul work with you, they'll feel a similar love as you. 7. You recognize them. Believe that a 100% objective way should find out whether you have areas of strength for a flame connection, that they feel precisely the exact thing you feel, curious whether they are your twin flame. Indeed, I've quite recently found a pristine method for removing all the mystery about Cherish, and it was an entire pile of tomfoolery. A professional psychic artist as of late sketched for me what my perfect partner seems to be. Without a doubt, I was a little skeptical at first, yet my friend convinced me to give it an attempt. The drawing was amazing. Presently I know exactly what my perfect partner seems to be, and the insane part is that I recognized him instantly. If you have any desire to find out whether they truly are your twin flame or perfect partner, 
get your sketch drawn here. 8. Shared dreams. Shared dreams are another way you'll realize that your twin flame feels equivalent to you. Sometimes you'll both dream similar dreams, different times you'll long for one another. In many cases, your shared dreams will reflect what either of you is experiencing. And it's another way that you both associate and see one another. So for what reason do twin flames share dreams? Rest is believed to be the time when both your inner selves are loose, and the tension and stress of the outside world are quietened the most. During your fantasies, your spirit might guide you both on regions that need healing, developing, or changing. It's protected to express that for twin flames, Shared dreams can often be a spiritual poker reminder, yet in many cases, it's simply a sweet experience that awakens you feeling content and love-filled. 9. Intense emotion. It's a reality that twin flames will experience intense emotion around one another on a spiritual level. It's the connection you share, however emotional it can be a great deal to deal with, yet. The extraordinary thing about this intensity is that it's difficult to hide. You can tell when your twin flame feels emotional or is adored and enjoying being with you. What's more, it's quite typical for these intense emotions to come in unexpected waves out of nowhere. In any case, the greatest aspect of these intense emotions. It's your spirit's recognition of itself in someone else. It's the ultimate type of connection and it can often assume control over you, and cause you to feel powerless and overpowered, yet additionally give you a feeling of unity with your accomplice. So if you're feeling this way, there's a decent opportunity for your twin flame feels something similar, and you'll be aware by using your intuition and their reactions to confirm. 10. The energetic atmosphere. Our last point brings us to the energetic rush you experience, when your twin flame misses you if you haven't experienced it, imagine the sensation of energy pulsing through you. It for the most part happens arbitrarily, shocking you out of whatever you were doing at that point, and urging you to be more productive or bold. Furthermore, the equivalent can happen to your twin flame when you think of them. Whether or not they know it's through their connection to you or not, they'll still experience similar energy. As a rule, both twin flames will experience it simultaneously, albeit not dependably. Yet, that is not all. This equivalent energy can be bridled when you're together, ordinarily resulting in you both working collectively to achieve your objectives. It's a great experience that is shared by twin flames, and certainly, one that can't be ignored when it works out. So presently we've covered the top signs that your twin flame feels equivalent to you. We should investigate the times when these signs might appear to be less noticeable. Is there ever a time that your twin flame feels differently? With regards to the silver line connection, your twin flame will experience the same things as you. Yet it doesn't mean they'll necessarily feel precisely the exact thing you're feeling. Why? It could be that they haven't gone through any spirit work. You might have begun your spiritual awakening and have proactively ventured into yourself with the goal that you have a superior understanding of this connection. However, your accomplice might not have. So whilst they're mindful that what they feel around you is intense, they aren't generally prepared for those emotions, and that is the reason we often see sprinters and chasers in twin flame relationships. So what's the pursuit about? All things considered, it typically happens when one individual in the relationship becomes overpowered and essentially leaves. They're known as the sprinter, since they're running from their anxieties toward intense emotion spiritual development, and unconditional love. It's typical for the chaser to be left feeling deserted, hurt, and confounded how could their twin flame go into such a magical relationship. Actually, the sprinter requirements to leave, whether it's to develop independently or to seek after different relationships, until they're prepared to return to their twin flame, 
and acknowledge the intensity of the union. What's more, they're often running from their issues. The chaser was simply the mirror to show them parts that they aren't prepared to confront. Yet, during this separation, the chaser often puzzles over whether the sprinter still experiences what they're feeling. Does the silver line remain intact? It does indeed. Your twin flame still feels the intense connection you both have, the affection is there yet they simply can't manage it so possible during this time that they don't realize that they feel the same way as you. They're still mindful of the bond you share, yet they're focusing on different aspects of their life, so their attention isn't focused on your feelings or how they can be nearer to you. It's quite difficult for the chaser to know how their twin flame feels when they run, yet if they're your twin flame, they'll share that important connection, regardless of whether you're together. Yet, as you probably are aware, about cherishing, things seldom go as flawlessly as we'd like them to. That is the reason I prescribe speaking to one of the gifted advisors over at Psychic Source. I mentioned them earlier. They've been incredibly useful in the past when I've required guidance on my affection life, and they'll certainly have the option to assist you with understanding your twin flame's feelings. Whether you like to talk online or bounce on a call and talk up close and personal, you can get clarity on this situation right at this point. What if my twin flame doesn't feel equivalent to me? If this is the situation, they're not your twin flame. You might accompany a bogus twin flame, somebody who shows a similarity to a genuine twin flame, yet in reality, has altogether different life purposes and feelings. Though a real twin flame might run yet will ultimately return, a misleading twin flame will cause you to feel like you've joined in union, however in reality, they don't feel what you feel. Issues like past injury or relationship issues will easily make a bogus twin flame run and never think back, the direct inverse of a genuine twin flame. A bogus twin flame can cause you to miss out on precious time and energy, that could be directed at attracting your actual accomplice. So if you don't feel that your accomplice genuinely feels what you feel, it's a massive indicator that they're not your twin flame, and it's time to continue in center around yourself until he or she finds you. Furthermore, on that note, if you have met your actual twin flame, these overwhelming signs will certainly be proof that they feel precisely the exact thing you feel paying little mind to how they might act. Truly, your unique bond is so interesting, it's typical to be confounded by your twin flame's reactions sometimes. However, remember that it's all essential for your spirit process together.